Good morning, Grand High. My name is Kyron. And my name is Nadia. Today is Friday, March 22nd. And you're watching Cases on, on Demand. demand. The Grand Track and Field team is selling Pacer for Life bumper stickers for $7 to raise money for the track program. Please see one of the track and field athletes or one of the coaches to purchase a sticker and help the track team raise money for track meets, uniforms, throwing implements, starting blocks, etc. Seniors, did you know that Alliance Association scholarships are due the 26th? They're offering $68,000 this year and no more hands or essays or applications. You can fill it out and print it online. Repeat the application for $68,000 due on the 26th. Fill out and print online. Confused about where to go and how much it's really going to cost? Do you have to take all the loans offered? What's the difference between subsidized and unsubsidized? Is it worth it to take the work study? Time is getting close for a decision to be made and fees will be due. Come for some answers on Wednesday to B10 at 1245 until 4. Workshops will be from 1 to 2. Hope to see you there. Leadership and Avon 11 are interacting and participating in paintings for patients. Campaigns in Leukemia and Leukemia Society money raised will be continued to support the Leukemians and Leukemia Society mission to cure blood Cancer improved the lives of our campaign. It ends on 4th to 22nd. Thank you for your kind donations and support. Hey Grant, have you seen the mental health poster hanging in your classroom? Our GS group group had a chance to interview Lily Long and Miss Dawn to bring you this story. Hi Pacers, I'm Ray and we're here to go talk to the winner of the Mental Health Art Contest and also Ms. Doan. Let's go. Hi, I'm here with Lily Zong. So what inspired you to draw your piece? Well, I think that many students throughout high school get very nervous about themselves and very insecure. And I feel like I can really relate with them, especially with this topic of social anxiety because I get super worried about what I'm going to say to others because for the fear that they might think I'm a bad person or they would just think bad about me. Did you expect to win? No, n not at all. <laughs> Honestly, I didn't even pay attention to the prize either. I kind of just entered wanting to do what I like doing best. Art. <laughs> Thank you for your time. You're welcome. Hi, I'm here with... Uh, Ms. Doan, I'm one of the counselors here at Grant High School. So, what is? why do you guys do this art contest? So, uh, this art contest, because uh, I'm part of one of the CSF advisors on campus, and we got a grant from NAMI, and the grant is for us to do some work on our grant campus to um, increase awareness about mental health and decrease the stigma about mental health to help students get help if they need the help. Um, we decided to do the art contest because it allows students to show uh, case their creativity and it uh, gives students a voice on how they want to deal with mental health. So I noticed that there's a number on the poster. Mm -hmm. What is what happens when you text or call that number? Um, so when you text or call that number, you're actually going to be talking to um, a counselor on the other side, uh, either with a text or a phone call, and um, they can help you talk to you through what, what's going on with you, and you can also refer you to help, like maybe to a counselor or some coping skill that you can use. Thank you for your time. No problem. Hey, Pacers, we just got done learning about the Mental Health Art Contest. Have an amazing day. Patrons on Demand is brought to you by the Grand Student Programming Network. My name is Kyron. And my name is Nathan. Have, Have an amazing, amazing day, Patrons!